When it comes to how quickly nootropic supplements take effect, generally speaking, they are designed for long-term systematic use. I mean, we can tell if a certain compound is effective only after weeks or even months of testing it, but some substances kick in faster. The whole course is done in like a week. My name is Dr. Mikhail Tetyushkin. I'm a psychiatrist and I've been working in this field for quite some time now, over a quarter century. I'm the creator and head of the MedScience project, which has been helping people with mental health disorders for over 15 years. So, how long does it take for nootropic supplements to kick in? Usually it takes weeks and even months. But there is a short list of supplements that work faster. This short list includes Selanc and Cmax. These compounds are very closely related to each other and they are synthesized and produced by the same research institute. They come in the form of nasal drops, so they're applied in the nose. And their treatment course is very short, we're talking roughly five to seven days. Within this time frame, you already get the effect and after that you need to take a break. So what's behind this fast action? Well, here's what the manufacturer says. They describe C-Max and Selanc as non-hormonal analogues of adrenal cortex hormones. Adrenal cortex hormones are incredibly important and high intensity substances in our body. They can deliver a powerful activating effect and strongly stimulate virtually any aspect of our body's functioning. That's exactly why Selanc and Cemax have this rapid effect and require quick discontinuation because prolonged use can deplete the body's resources. So make sure to stick to the course length that the manufacturer recommends. Another important thing is the mode of use, right? Intranasal administration, either by spray or by drops, is quite promising. They say that the nasal mucosa is your brain's front door. It's true because the inside of your nose is the fastest possible way to deliver the compound. This mode allows it to bypass the whole digestive system and get directly into the bloodstream that's intimately connected with the brain's blood supply. But let's be real, this route isn't always used for the right kind of treatment. Unfortunately, many recreational drugs are also taken intranasally. Speaking of intranasal use, we're bound to mention esketamine a drug that is widely used and FDA approved in the United States. It's a nasal spray that represents one of the most advanced treatments for the rapid relief of depressive symptoms. The principle here is the same, to get the substance to the brain as quickly as possible to achieve the fastest and most pronounced effect. Now here's interesting, Selanc and Cmax actually appeared earlier than esketamine. You can't really compare them because these aren't the same kind of meds, not even close. But still the principle of intranasal administration. That's certainly an interesting approach for delivering active substances directly to the brain. Click on the links in this video's description to learn more about Selanc and Cmax. So what's the difference between Cmax and Selanc? Cmax dropped before Selanc, and they're quite similar but not the same. So what's the difference? They both improve brain blood supply and metabolism. They both improve brain vessel permeability and have stimulating effects. The key difference is that Cmax is specifically designed for helping with brain circulation problems. In Russia, it's even included in the first aid after stroke kit, though at higher concentrations compared to non-critical conditions. Selanc, on the other hand, is an anti-anxiety compound. Of course, we've got to throw in the usual disclaimer, we say it a lot, but it's important. These aren't 100% proven meds. They're not miracle cures either. We can't say that Selanc is a Xanax or Alprazolam. It's not an anti-anxiety medication that can be used as a standalone therapy for treating generalized anxiety disorder. Absolutely not. But this combination of nootropic action on one hand that helps improving cognitive function and brain performance, plus anti-anxiety effects on the other, this is incredibly valuable. Perhaps only two compounds can boast this combined effect. These are Selanc and Fenibut. Both compounds originate from the USSR. In the United States, they're not considered medications. But here's the thing, there's no legit prescription drug out there that checks all the boxes like this combo does. Nothing that's passed all those double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized trials of Big Pharma can boast the same combination of effects. That's what makes Selang stand out. Fast onset of action, short treatment course, and the combination of both nootropic and anti-anxiety effects. Selang is most commonly used when we see signs of, broadly speaking, some form of depression. Not depression as a psychiatric diagnosis, but depression meaning nervous system suppression. We're talking about a whole range of conditions. This includes actual depressive syndrome in psychiatric terms, consequences of overly stressful work, effects of working in harsh or toxic conditions, and consequences of intoxication. Importantly, its uses also include consequences of drug abuse. Selang can be taken for mental recovery after drug abuse or alcohol abuse and its consequences. It can be used by athletes who've had traumatic brain injuries, not severe one-time injuries, but chronic traumatic brain injuries like in boxing. So the spectrum of its use is very broad, right? This includes everything I've mentioned, plus numerous neurological conditions. 
I don't want to step into someone else's territory here, but for neurological cases involving brain damage, which are quite many, it can also be applied. There's a lot of talk about nootropics. Some people call them nootropic supplements. Others say they're compounds with unproven effectiveness. Some claim that they're dietary supplements. The truth is, everyone's got the point. But what do they actually do? What can you achieve with them and what you can't? We have a separate video about this. Go check it out.